But in general, shit, like you can, you can, um, you, you don't have to be motivated or you don't have to like it all that yeah. much. You know what I mean? But I push back on it because in general, mm-hmm. if you only did the things that you like, you would never be successful. Absolutely. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Now, you should do things because it fulfills you. Yeah. Right? You should do things for because it's fulfilling. There's been plenty of times that all these, like, you know, advice gurus online and on in, in the on the internet, fucking uh, uh, Casey or uh, the the other guy. All the, there's all these people, yeah, right? The, that like yeah. that have these little reels online or whatever, right? And they'll tell you like, just do shit because you love it, and do and like eventually it'll come. Eventually you'll be successful. This and this and that. Like, I get it. But all of that is like surface level. Very. You should like things, mm-hmm. right? But do not be fooled under the false pretense that just because you don't like it all the time. Like if, oh, I'm sorry, do, do not get fooled by the false pretense, pre- pretense that you have to like it all the time. Absolutely. That is Absolutely. the most ridiculous thing that you can, somebody could ever tell you. If you really like something, there is going to be something about that something that you are not going to like once either success comes in or even when you're doing it just for fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what your profession is. It doesn't matter if it's a hobby. If it doesn't matter if, you, if it's a profession. It doesn't matter if you're trying to level up. It doesn't matter if you just do it on the side. It doesn't matter if it's a curiosity. There is something about everything that you like that you are not going to like. Yeah. Right? The, the question is ratio. How much of it do I not like versus how much of it do I actually like? Yeah. Right? And if the ratio always tips to the, yeah, I like it more so generally speaking, then that's something that you should probably keep in your life. Yeah. Being aware of the fact that you're going to have to muscle through yeah. some bullshit. You know what and I mean? And this is the thing with, though. Like, to me, when I see people talking about how much they don't like their jobs, how much I was like, nobody fucking likes their job. Okay? Nobody. And then also, like you said, it's this... Um, you're not going to like your job, even if you love what you're doing, even if you say that that is the one thing that you want to do, even if you've said that for the, all your life that what you wanted to do was be a beekeeper and you're a beekeeper. You know what's going to suck? When a fucking bee stings you. Don't matter how many times you said to yourself that you wanted to be a fucking beekeeper because that's the one thing that's going to make you happy for the rest of your life. It still sucks. Every once in a while, right? Thus, to me, when I hear people complaining about their job or, or whatever, I'm like, why? One, I tell myself or tell them, like, why complain about your job when you're still there, too? And and at least in the extent of which they might be complaining. Because everybody can complain about their job. It's not a big deal. I mean, yeah, I, I complain about my job all the time. But I'm not like saying to everyone and continuously saying it for years and years and years being like i'm so beat i don't want to do this anymore blah blah blah, blah, blah. it's like the, that's more draining than your job itself like you consistently telling yeah, everybody i don't want to be doing this anymore this is not what i want to do for the rest of my life it's like okay how about instead of complaining that this is not what you want to do for the rest of your life you use this job that you don't like so much as a stepping stool to go do what you want to do for the rest of your life there's nothing wrong with milking your job out of everything it can give you facts like literally nothing because this company don't give a fuck about you don't don't. like your company is never going to give a fuck about you they don't because the minute you leave you're irreplaceable in every sense of the word yeah thus to me personally if i'm thinking about my job and the job that i particularly have there's a lot of room for growth in my job a lot of room for growth i am literally at the bottom level and there's so many more ways to go up from there so to me the idea of like okay maybe if i just dedicate one year to getting to that next level of my job that puts me in a different tax bracket for instance so like it moves me up in into different situations and i'm like oh i could do this just on the hours like the type of hours that i have and i'm like you know what i can if i'm already hating my job right now how about i hate it earning i don't know Little more. twice as much as i'm twice earning as right as now yeah, like yeah. that's fine like i'm okay with that like yeah. that's okay why because at the end of the day twice as much that i'm earning right now means i could put i don't know Some something in the savings maybe put that back into filming put that back into wherever i want to put it yeah, yeah. and at the end of the day i hate i still hated my job right yeah. but i did and milked it for what it needed to so that i could eventually step myself into whatever i wanted to and that's still with the knowledge and knowing 
for instance, that this job that I am looking forward to have or this or whatever future I am looking to have isn't going to be tip top perfect all the time. And thus, there is no actual solution for this feeling of inadequacy in your in your yeah. life right now. Yeah, there's because, no solution. Because people around me, I've heard a lot of them be like, well, maybe it, they're like, if I just leave this job, I'll be fine. It's like, that's a fucking Lies. lie. Lies. You will never, ever, ever in your life find something that's just so clean and cut and and solution based like that ever Lies. doesn't yeah, matter yeah, yeah. what you think right. what you think is happening you can't do that in fact i've told people before i'm like you have to go under the assumption that you're gonna hate that, that you could potentially hate the decision that you make yeah. by leaving this company by leaving this job title by whatever you do and you're gonna have to swallow that pill hole whenever you say "Ooh." This didn't fix everything. Why? Because at the end of the day, it was never going to fix everything. What's actually needing to be fixed is your mind, is your mentality. It's the way that you're looking at the way that you're doing things. Because yeah. at the end of the day, doesn't matter how much you leave or go to different companies that might be offering you solutions to your problem. Because every single time I hear somebody say, oh, I just need this one job. This job's going to pay me three times more than what I was doing before. And it's going to be so much more fulfilling because maybe I'll have more money to do yada, yada, yada. Next thing I know is, and I kid you not, like clockwork, every single one of these people that I've met that have told me something to this extent have hated their job so much left whatever they were doing didn't even complete however long they didn't even pull through because they were like i thought it was gonna fix everything and it didn't mm -hmm. it's like that's how it fucking works yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. never gonna be like that yeah i can't think of anything that i've ever done and and i've been pretty successful at a lot of things mm. i can't think of any one of those things that there was a big aspect of any one of those things that i disliked yeah in other words Every single thing that I've been successful at, there was a substantial amount of the grunt work and parts of those things that brought me success that I have not liked a lot. Yeah. Right? It's just part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it just kind of comes with the territory, to territory. Sorry. But I've liked something about it enough to where I'm like, I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Yeah. It's fine. It's totally cool. I know where I'm not willing to compromise. And I won't cross that line. Yeah. But everything over here, shit, I'll do grunt work. That's yeah. fine. Shit, I'll go do this. Uh, you know, that's fine. Shit, I'll... This goes back to like when we talked about like poor tendencies and stuff. Yeah. Like, no problem. Like, I don't have any problem. Because why? Because it, for me, the outcome on the other side, it feels like it, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. It's a, it's a no-brainer. I do not need instant gratification, and neither should you. You should get gratification when whenever you want. Yeah. Like, whenever you want gratification, you should get it. But if you want gratification just for the sake of gratification, then there's just a reevaluation re that you've got to get. Yeah. You know, there, there has to be, there, there, you, have to th you have to try and think, oh, what is it that I want? What, what, how, how do I want to try it? Or do I just want to enjoy things for the sake of enjoying things? Which just makes it a lot, a lot easier too. You can yeah. find yourself doing some, you know, some shit all, all the time, whatever, right? So in that like advice guru kind of thing, right? I always understand where these people are coming from. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, I empathize it. It's yeah. noble. Like, I, I get it. But it just doesn't paint the entire picture. Yeah. 